Just everyone, I hope everybody's doing well, blessed, and enjoying family. And as always, do allow me to start off by thanking everybody for you guys' words, prayers, and for everything you express and send my way. From the corazón, gracias. Now, to get into the story in hand, today I want to touch on something that I speak about a lot. You know, on here, which is, you know, don't allow older homies to come out with, with saliva, right? With labia and run lies to you. And I want to get into the core of why I say it. And as you guys know, everything I speak about, I tend to speak myself in first, first base, right? Cause I am speaking of what I seen and gone through. And, uh, you know, at one point, I was that individual, right? I was that, you know, I come from the first generation of my neighborhood. So I was that individual that sat up there in the, in the shoe and, uh, I tend to think that the righteous things to do was plug my homies up with, uh, with billies, right? As much as I could, cause I thought that was, What's gonna make my neighborhood right? That's what I believe from the heart that it was a correct thing to do, right? Even though that when I speak on this, I had already seen a lot, you know, and I was still being that idiot, naive person to keep dragging uh, extra people into it, right? Because again, I thought that made uh, my neighborhood look good. At this time, I was still a lifer, so, you know, you could say I was just one of those Margarito lifers that, uh, saw things that way I was told to see him, right? I didn't have my individual mind to really sit down and analyze things. But for this one, I want to talk about the Billy Alfie, you know, from Happy Valley and, uh, one of my camaradas, a young camarada at this, right? He, uh, he was doing some time for, or for shooting a Norteño and, uh, some other things that had to do with that, you know, Harley and stuff. And he got, I believe in the beginning, it was like 10 years. But due to him being a little cagapalos, he, he ended up catching a shoot term and, Every shoot term you catch, automatically you get kicked out to a 180. So he hit New Folsom. And this is around 2010, around there. And, you know, he was in contact with me via his sister, you know, who's staying in touch. And for other reasons that, you know, there's no need to speak about him because, uh, well, you guys know I ain't gonna glamorize anything I was doing or the position I was in because in reality it was just an idiot cha-cha right but uh anyways he was in touch with me and uh at this time uh he was requesting you know that uh well the avenue he had that was doing things was his carnala right now keep in mind I know him and his sister and other brother for since they were babies, right? I know their parents, so again, I was an idiot with no excuses. But he was requesting, and at first I was, you know, chill. He had four years to go home, so I was like, chill, get out and, and do your thing, you know? But he was like a, you know, como un cuchillito, right? Like a little knife. Terco, terco, you know? On things, so. I eventually, you know, uh, I plugged in with Alfie because, uh, Alfie was requesting, uh, 
a seed in Folsom. And uh, I thought it was a perfect op opportunity for my younger homie to get in and, uh, and support the right way, right? So, you know, I plugged them up. They started doing their thing, and uh, somehow, some way, uh, you know, his uh, his sister was going through some issues because uh, well, one of my homeboys that was from my generation, she was with him, and you know, he did a lot of shady stuff. I'll just leave it like that, and uh, she was going through it. So again, you know, it was uh, like the snake I was at this moment, or the thought of mine I had at this time was I seen another opportunity to you know to uh put the city on the map right because again I'm from the Bay Area so there ain't too much well at this time there wasn't too much or too many homies that were directly under somebody so again my stupidity led me to that right to think like this so anyways you know, I struggled up a deal with Alfie for her, which was, you know, she was heavy set. She was going through some stings with her kids and, uh, all she had was her kids and her dog. So she was to go down, down south and, uh, support Alfie in the sense, like pick up, turn in, pick up Feria and get it to where it needs to get. And every trip she was going to get 5k, right? And uh, this went on for a while. You know, the homie, even though he was young, he got a seat. And uh, everything was working for me. You know, uh, right before I left the Bay, and uh, Alfie, you know, sent him to uh, to take, go take care of something. As you guys know, he's always been known for a hothead. So something happened along the lines. and. My homie went and, you know, he did what he had to do. And, of course, he got caught. He went to the hole. And uh, he ended up picking 10, 10 balas, more 10 years behind this hit, you know, besides the shoe. And uh, as you guys know, you know, when you're waiting on a DA referral, more than likely when you don't have live, they're going to pick it up. You're going to get more time. And more than likely, you're going to stay in the hole. It's uh, going to be difficult for you not to get time served and get kicked back out to that linea, right? Which this was the case with my homie. Anyways, in 2015 is when I took off to the feds and uh, slowly they started coming out, you know, to the, to the yards. And the first one on the yard with my homie was, uh, was Chavo from Bakersfield. And shortly after him, it was, it was Alfie and Chico. You know, the ones Alfie got there, it basically works as first come, first serve, right? Whoever gets there before has the jardin. That's the way they work it, right? Or else it's considered politicking or stepping on toes. Nevertheless, you know, it was, it was Chavo's yard. So, Alfie and my homie, they were doing their things and, uh, you know, just keeping on the sidelines with their own people and everything. And, uh, for those that know, you know, at this time, Alfie got a pegada. Well, in that pegada, my homie, he rode with Alfie and, uh, he caught another 20 years from this time. You know, so here's a young homie due to me. That caught 30 years behind bad homie he had, which is myself, bringing him into something that I knew. It's like they say, you know, once you're there, you should know what you signed up for, right? I mean, I always state in my videos, if you're there, keep pushing, you know, boot up, suit up, and, and boogie. And that's exactly what he did. But you see, the the other side of the coin was, as everyone's aware, you know, within time, Chavo passed away, Alfie, you know, Chico, they moved him, but he still had a hold, then he passed away as Silent George, and uh, 
new pilis, new people, new mesa started picking up the yarda, right? In Folsom. And of course, you know, homie didn't have nothing to lose. So he approached the new uh, leadership and he got shot down. The new leadership, the sack was where we respect what you did, but program like any other Sureño. And of course, you know, it's probably one of the best things because he's doing his time now, right? Without having to be all up in the mix. And, uh, but at the same time, you know, homie picked up 30 years for appealing. It is why I stayed it over and over on here, you know, what you do for one appealing has no type of meaning to the next appealing. All that you earn your brownie points and earn respect. And you're going to always be okay. Nah, it don't work like that. And when I say, you know, don't listen to those that are going to mislead you. Take my word because I was there. You know, I had a lot of time to reflect and not just trace my actions, but trace everything, period. And I had a lot of fault. You know, you're never in touch with your mind, your thoughts more than when you're actually like I was at one point, which couldn't walk, I couldn't sit up, I couldn't do anything. All I had was marrollera mente, right, to analyze every aspect of things. And, you know, I'm as fault as the next man. So don't ever think that I come on here sticking my neck out. I was a super sueño and I was this. I was none of that, man. I was just an idiot, you know. Trying to be loyal or trying to be gente in a snake pit where the politics has different meanings with each head, each one of them. You know, when uh, someone gets out and tells you, you got to earn your score, earn your stripes inside. What stripes? You're going to go in there, fall in line, follow an individual, do everything correct. And that individual gets greedy, as they always do, power hungry, and he gets hit by his own carnales, and, you know, you're in his arms and legs, so you have to bounce too. Where if whatever you were doing was okay, whatever you did, the sacrifices you did, don't mean nothing. You know, I recently talked to a uh, homeboy sister, and uh, I never knew that when she was doing this, they were shorting her. They were taking advantage that, you know, the homie was there on the yard with them and all. They were clipping her. They weren't giving her the full amount that it was agreed. I never knew. I mean, I would have said something, but in reality, you know, it wouldn't have made a difference because it was either me telling them not to do it no more and then that was my butt. That was my homie's butt, right? But nevertheless, you know, at every corner, they're always taking advantage for themselves. Homegirl sister used to go down there and literally spend six, seven, ten days taking care of whatever she needed to get from county to county, city to city, and uh, to be shorty, right? But uh, just be smart, you know. Again, I'm on here because I want to put the message, you know. There's nothing in prison. There's nothing with these individuals. But a bunch of dope fiends taking advantage to those that extend their hand. You guys heard the same? You know, you give them the hand and they take the feet. Nah, these guys, you give them the hand, they're going to take everything. And smile while they're doing it. There's no carnalismo. There's no compassion. There's no love. You know, I stop my homie. You know, 2010, so 10 years. He still has 24, 25 years to go. And he's on the shine. Not on the shine, but, you know, everything, whatever him and his sister did at one time for, not just Alfie, because you guys remember, when they're pulling moves like that, there's a bunch of them getting a little bit of something, right? But they're always on the, on eggshells. When it comes to one another, to their workers, it is why 
they take care of, of the ramflas when a pili falls because they feel there's something left from that other pili that was taken out so they can't trust you how do they say it with the one you you met you or something like that you know but what you're doing is what you they think everyone's gonna do that's why there's no pushing forward but anyways mi gente I just thought I'd share the story, you know, mainly to extend my message out to the young ones, you know, don't waste your life, you know, uh, I wish I could uh, express on another homie, but, uh, well, he asked me to, not to, right, and I'm going to respect that, but uh, you might go in there for something petty, but program is program, and right now the program is following what they want and what they want is vitamin for the vena and money money and power you know you're replaceable so just stay true to the ones that you're not that you know but anyways with this said please stay true to yourself and love to your loved ones god bless me buenas noches <laughs>